Okay, this is lesson 5.3, and in this lesson we're going to speed graph a quadratic relation. Um, speed graphing is actually going to be the next two lessons. Um, I'm going to do it once, and then we're going to do it again in 5.4. Um, the reason why we're going to do it twice is, is because it takes everything we've learned so far this unit, all the features of a parabola, and it takes factoring from our last unit and brings it all together so that we can come up with a graph of a parabola without making a table. Um, so we're going to give that a shot. Speed graphing is called the STYV method, and it's called this method because these are the things we need to find in order to graph. The S and the T stand for the x-intercepts. And the reason that the x-intercepts is because s and t are the parts that are in factored form. So we're going to factor to find the x-intercepts. The y stands for a y-intercept. And the v stands for vertex. If we can find these four things, we can graph a parabola. So step one is going to be to find and plot the y-intercept. And the nice thing about the y-intercept is if you're given the equation, Oops. y equals x squared plus bx plus c, the y-intercept is always going to be the number on the end c. The end number c is the y-intercept. It's the point where the graph will cross the y-axis. So our first step is just to pick out the number at the end of the equation and plot it on the y-axis. Step two is the tricky part. Find and plot the x-intercepts. To do that, we're going to take our equation, x squared plus bx plus c, and we're going to factor it to find x minus r and x minus s. The s and t numbers are the x-intercepts, or the zeros. And they're the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. And s and t have the opposite signs. Opposite signs of, I can write a and b, I'm going to say the x-intercepts. Once you've found the x-intercepts, you're going to graph them, and then we're going to find the axis of symmetry. And the way we do that is we find the middle of the x-intercepts. Now, there's a really easy way to do it on the graph. That's what I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but math wise, you would add the x-intercepts and divide by 2. And then, once you have your axis, you can plot any of the reflection points. Over the axis of symmetry. If you have some points on one side of the axis, you can move them to the other side and reflect them. Finally, once we've used S and T to find the midpoint, we can find the vertex by taking the midpoint and putting it into the equation. Finally, we draw the graph. So let's take a look at how we do this. Graph y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 using STYV method. All right, so first things first, we're going to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we take the number on the end, and that's our y-intercept. zero, negative eight will be our y-intercept, so on the y-axis, we go and we put a dot. So we got one point for our parabola. Next step is to factor. So if you remember from last unit, if you have x squared plus 2x minus eight, to factor it, we would write an x at the beginning of both brackets, and we look for numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to 2. 
So what multiplies to negative 8 and adds to negative 2? Well, we could make a list. Uh, 1 and negative 8, but that doesn't add to 2. Negative 8 and 1, but that doesn't add to 2. Uh, 4 and 2 are getting us pretty close. In fact, 4 and negative 2 will work. So we write x plus 4 and x minus 2. And now these numbers are important because this number represents one of our x-intercepts and this number represents the other one. But it represents it with the opposite sign. So our first x-intercept is negative 4, 0. And our second x-intercept is 2, 0. So this is the trickiest step of the entire STYV method. We have to remember how to factor. And once we factored, we just take the number and change the sign. Take the number and change the sign. So we've got negative 4 and 2. Those are our x-intercepts, so we put them on the x-axis. Part 3 is to find and draw the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You take your x-intercepts and you start moving one space at a time from both into the middle until you find the middle. So move over one, move over one more, move over one more, we meet right here. So that's the middle. So this is where our axis of symmetry will be. So the axis of symmetry and this is x equals and it crosses at negative 1. Now to do the math to show where that comes from, you take your x-intercepts and you add them. Negative 4 plus 2 and you divide your answer by 2. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So this is the math, add them and divide by 2, or count to the middle. Step 4 is to find and plot the vertex. Well, the vertex is going to be somewhere on this line. But where? Well, to figure it out, we have to use our equation. Our equation is y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. Since we know the vertex is going to be on this line, we know that the x is going to be negative 1. So we put negative 1 into our equation everywhere there's an x. And then we use our calculator. Negative 1 squared plus 2 bracket negative 1 minus 8, and we get negative 9. Sorry, negative 9. So our vertex is negative 1, negative 9. So that would be right there. And last step is to draw the graph. And we should include reflection points. So any point we have on one side should have a point across. That one does. This one doesn't. So since we're one line across on the axis, we go one across on the other side, and we get another point. And now we have five dots. We can connect them. And there is our parabola. Now, that definitely was not very speedy. But the faster and the more practice we get, the faster we are going to be able to graph our parabola. All right, let's try one more. It says practice, but we're going to do it together. Uh, this one's a little tricky one. Um, because something weird happens, so I wanted to show it to you. We're going to start by plotting the y-intercept. The y-intercept is just the number at the end, the plus 1. So our y-intercept 
is 0, 1. And that would be 0, 1, right there. Factor and plot the x-intercepts. Well, our equation is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we're looking for numbers that multiply to 1 and add to 2. Well, that's a little weird. The only thing that multiplies to 1 is 1 and 1. Unfortunately, that adds to 2. So it's 1 and 1. So we write 2 brackets, x at the beginning of both, and then plus 1 and plus 1. So that means our x-intercepts are opposite sign, remember, negative 1 and negative 1. They're the same. So that means there's only one x-intercept, negative 1, 0, that dot right there. Now, this is kind of weird because when there's only one x-intercept, if we remember all the way back to our last lesson, that one x-intercept has to be the vertex. So that dot actually has to be the vertex. So we already found the vertex. And what's neat about the vertex is the vertex is on the axis of symmetry. So there's no x-intercepts to go between. That is the axis of symmetry is right here. And if you add these and divide by 2, negative 1 and negative 1 gives us negative 2. Divide by 2, we get negative 1. So the math still checks out. And now to draw the graph, we look for any reflection points. Well, this point doesn't have a partner on the other side, so we reflect it. And we just have this little parabola right here. It's kind of a weird case, but if you ever notice this, if your x-intercepts are the same, the x-intercept is also the vertex. And then this becomes a very easy graph to make because we only need the three points. Okay, that was lesson 5.3, graphing using the STYV method. Um, the next lesson we're going to do another version of the STYV method. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.